and I'm going to answer some questions that I um, people had asked me on my Facebook page. Here we go. Yay! Daniel Smith was wondering, what made you desire to be an actress? Well, um, I've been wanting to be an actress ever since I was a little kid. I was always, you know, the kid in the corner, you know, play make-believe like a little weirdo. For me, at least, writing has always been hand-in-hand -hand with my acting. Whenever I, you know, think of a scene that I'm going to write, I always, you know, act it out in my head. And then I sometimes when I'm alone, I'll act it out alone. I'll create a dialogue back and forth doing voices. And, um, yeah, I just... For me, I've just always wanted to be an actress, and I've it's always gone hand in hand with my writing. And um, I think part of the desire to be an actress also comes from the fact that, you know, in my day to day life, I can come across as kind of innocent and shy, and um, I really like portraying characters that are the opposite of that. You know, kind of uh, hard boiled characters that are kind of rough and tumble and they've, um, you know, been through a lot of hard uh, situations in life and it's fun to make believe. It's fun to be somebody you're not and I just have always been attracted to that. William, I'm going to butcher the name, William Motsural LMT asked, do you ground yourself going into coming out of character? What do you do? I've always wondered how a person can become someone they are actually not and is it, if it is difficult to step away from the creative persona. But I just kind of separate myself from the character. Every single time I go in and out of character, I just, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, on set, I'm just go into character and then as soon as they say cut I go out of character I'm out of it and I think it's part of a self-preservation kind of mentality you know because of, especially if the character is kind of um, emotionally difficult to be in character um, I think it's healthy to not stay in character. I'm not one of those actresses who actually will stay in character throughout, like, an entire time that, um, oh, Facebook making noises. And just knowing my own personal struggles with, you know, anxiety and sometimes with depression, I just feel like it's better for myself that every time I go into character, it's just for practice for rehearsals or it's just for when the camera is rolling. When it stops, I'm out of it. You know, what do I do uh, going in and out of character? I, I, it's hard to explain. I guess it's kind of almost like, um, like a, don't want to sound super cheesy, but kind of like, you know, a Zen kind of thing. You know, you just, you focus, you put your mind into that character and you really just you just try and use empathy to um, feel what that person is feeling in that moment what that character is feeling and if it's really hard for me to do like if it's hard for me to get in that that mind focus I'll just uh, use method acting I'll think of a time that I may have felt something similar like if it's somebody grieving over a family member dying I'll think of a time that I had to grieve Jeff Herman is wondering what scene do you think reflects your work best and why um, I think from uh, the web series I was in, Jessica Forever, uh, the second episode uh, when she is realizing, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, so please, if you have not seen Jessica Forever yet, please do not keep watching this video. But um, anyways, so you've been warned. Who is this? Why did you kill Landon? That wasn't me. That was you. Oh, no. no, I don't believe you. That couldn't have been me. I... Listen to me, Jessica. <laughs> You're not human anymore. <laughs> In one hour, the sun will come up. And you will burn away. <laughs> come back to the club. 
I felt very in the moment. I felt very vulnerable. Um, I was in my underwear, so that added to the vulnerability. And I had to, you know, vomit too. So, I mean, that adds to vulnerability. And um, I think whenever an actor can make themselves vulnerable, truly vulnerable, that is their best work. That's acting at its best. And Jeanette Haynes is asking, would you rather play the villain or the heroine? Um, that is an awesome question. <laughs> I love that question. So for me, the way I would want it is, who is the more complicated character? That would be, you know, because like, for me, I wouldn't care so much as I mean, I'm slightly more attracted to the villain idea just because it's kind of, you know, fun to play the bad girl and everything. To play the the villain is, is kind of fun. Um, I don't know why it is, but it just is. Um, but as far as, like, which one I'd want to play more, I would ask, well, who is the more complicated character? And... For me, I love playing complicated characters, really nuanced characters. So, um, yeah, I would want to go with the more complicated character, whether that be a villain or whether that be the good guy or girl or whatever. Yeah, I'm a girl, as you can tell. Yep, I'm a girl. Jessica Bledsoe is asking, what character from literature would you like to play and why? Um, now... Yeah, I mean, there's so many wonderful characters from literature that I could, you know, list on and on and on about. But I think um, just from my, you know, adolescence uh, reading Ella Enchanted, I know there's the movie with Anne Hathaway and no offense to you guys if you absolutely love that movie, but I absolutely hate that movie. I just hate it. I bought it as soon as it came out because I was really excited because I love the book. I love the spin on uh, Cinderella. I love all of the, you know, magical creatures involved. And I love, um, you know, just the idea of the fairy godmother, the, the, the more complicated relationship she has with the fairy godmother. I love it. Um, great book uh, for teens. But, um, and a really strong heroine, really strong female, uh, character. So I really love that book. But the movie, the Disney movie is absolutely horrendously awful. So, um, sorry to burst anyone's bubble if they've never seen it and they want to, but it, it's terrible. Um, anyways, yeah, I would want to be in a remake of that movie. That would be awesome. I would love to be Ella, and I think that would be so much fun. Thank you so much for all your questions, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.